All right, everybody, today is Monday. It's October 16th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports Snake Draft Monday. Joined on Zoom, the Basement Boys, Robbie Fox, Clem Report. Uh, it's always great to chop it up with you guys. Welcome back. Robbie, firstly, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing absolutely fantastic. Always great to be back with the Dog Walk guys as well with all the uh, – the draft specialists, I would say. And analysts, that sounds wrong. Draft specialists. Yeah, that's like too professional. That's like Mel Kuyper Jr. Right? Yeah, we're not. Yeah. I mean, have you seen my picks? <laughs> <laughs> Clem, what's up, buddy? The basement boys and the garage guys. We'll call it because I know there's no such thing as basements in Chicago, only garages. So you guys are the garage guys. Good to be back with you, fellas. Uh, I was trying to think the last, I know the last time I was on was the fast food draft, which was very controversial. I feel like it was a few months ago, and I, I still am mad I didn't take the Costco food court just to have it on the graphic. That's going to haunt me for the rest of my life. We knew it was going to be a controversial uh, draft, and it was. We heard all the, the 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 clamoring and anger. So hopefully, my guy Bob here, everything settles down, the dust settles, and we have ourselves a good old fashioned draft that everyone can be happy with. People are so mad about that. So yeah, mad. People are pissed. Yeah, I wasn't thrilled. I was going to say, Bob, you were one of them. I saw you in the reply, you son of a bitch. <laughs> um, I think today's draft is is a good one. I think it's one of those that's going to spark a lot of discussion, a lot of debate. Um, you read by the title, it's iconic photos. We're going to split it into subcategories. Uh, you will get one sports, you'll get one pop culture, you'll get one history, you get one bar stool, and then you get one miscellaneous. Um, right out of the gate, there was some some chatter here with these two guys about um, videos that are also taken as still shots, right? So I think that is going to be a very interesting territory that we embark on. I think, like, in what way, like uh, a screenshot from a video, can, from a moment, can you use from... that as a. Yeah, like you can, but I think like get ready to fucking fight because I think there are photographs, photographs of that. You know, the photograph, you don't even know what was going on behind it, behind the scenes of it. And then there are photographs of moments, you know, everything that went on prior to, during and afterwards. And if you draft one of those photos, you're a fucking idiot because it's the moment you remember, not just a still shot. Yes. Like and not, that's due to technology a lot yeah. in the times we live in. You but know? the beauty of the show, it's a See, debate See, I don't show. know. I kind of feel like there are things that we, we will draft that there is a video, but then like the still shots on the cover of the New York Times. Yes, or, or, I'm not, there are, are there. there's a million exceptions to the rule. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, I'll use an example. So I'm going to tilt a pick, tip a pick. So hopefully no one had it on their board. If not, if you did, I'm doing you a favor. Like, if you take the Taylor Swift Kanye thing, right. I think that's a bad pick. Yeah. Like, yeah, the Agreed. still photo is good, but it was the video that was the moment, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But with that. Yeah, I agree. I think there are opposites where there was video of this situation, but the photo steals the show. You get what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. I don't think the, the photo needs to be in the Getty Images archives to, no. uh, to, to pass the smell test. I think you take a screenshot. It's like you said, the world we live in. And there are times where like certain photos of a moment aren't as good, but there's just that one photo. It's like, up, oh, that's it. That's the fucking, the thunderbolt, right? Um, I, I was actually doing some research for this and Porno was talking about uh, an old secretary. Oh, another, I apologize, I tipped another pick. But there's like a secretary pick, but then there's a bunch of other ones that it's from the same race. It's from the Belmont, but it's not the pick. So there's like... I think we all know the pictures we're going to be talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. But like, and Jack has a lot on his plate right now because it's going to be this specific picture we're yes. looking for potentially. Yeah, this graphic is going to cost like sixty <laughs> bucks. <laughs> Get images. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Um, all right. On that note, we could just do the order. Uh, Robbie, Harry has one through five behind his back. What number do you think it is? We're going to go two. My no. man Jeets. It is not uh, Clem. One through five. Uh, five. My no. guy David Wright. Chief. <laughs> Three. Yes. I will go first overall. Wow. He's got Ooh. a fucking heavy hitter right out of the gate. One through four, White Sox, Dave. I'll go two. No. I'll go one. Yes. I'll take number two. Uh, one through three, Robbie. I'll go three. Yes. I'll go. I'll take three. Wow, right down the line. Uh, one or two, Clem? 
Two. Yes. I wanted the last pick, so this kind of worked out great. I'll go last. All right. What's your thinking there? I ha- I think like there's a billion pictures. They're all the same to me. So I I, I might just be getting washed here. But yeah, uh, I think that's I, I wrong. Like, yeah, <laughs> I think there's a clear one one in this draft. I think there's. I think really? there is. I think there is too, and I wonder. I wonder if we agree. Well, we'll find We're out. About to we'll find, find out, out in like one second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I gotta say though, before we get going here, I love how many people have hit me up and say how much they like rollback. Everyone likes rollback. Yeah. No, honestly, yeah. it's been great. Like yeah. all my buddies are hitting me up, like, "Hey, dude, what's your promo code? I want to try it out. You speak so highly of them. I always see everybody rocking it at Barstool. So that's great. Keep using rollback, especially use our promo code, please. Uh, let me tell you a little, a little bit about it. Uh, the performance hoodie, they're great. Mm-hmm. They're comfortable. Yep. Mm-hmm. They look nice. They're stretchy. Everything's good about them. Isn't that right, White Sox? It's Sox-Tan? the best. It's the best. Let me yeah. tell you something about that hoodie. We had a big discussion on the the last snake draft of what you can wear to Thanksgiving. I promise you can wear that to Thanksgiving, even cons is Thanksgiving. Hey, let me tell you this too, Chief. How yeah. about here? Mm-hmm. You drafted this last draft, and now Roback has a brand new released performance crew neck. Uh- I'm in. For You're both in? men and women. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. They're breathable, very soft and comfortable, and uh, perfect for a crisp fall morning while you're on the move or having a relaxing weekend. And obviously, you guys know the joggers. Yeah, yeah. White Sox Dave sleeps in these bad boys. Stand up. Put them up. Oh, there we go. Uh, look. They're firing. <laughs> your, your butt looks nice, Dave. Can't believe I said that, but it looks great. And it's all because the rollback. Back. Yeah. I got the performance polo here, too, if you're in, you know, a little bit of a warm weather. Hey, city. we might hit yeah. the links tomorrow. The boys, um, uh, the gonna boys, be were, we were all wearing. If you yeah. watch just randomly too, and yes. two guys in the group in front of us were wearing it as well. Yes, yeah. If you watch this golf poorly on uh, Chicago stool scenes last week or two weeks ago, you saw us all rocking uh, Roback mm-hmm. Polo. So kick off your fall right and use the code Dog on Roback.com for twenty percent off your first purchase through the end of this week. That's spelled R H O B A C K dot com. That's twenty percent off of performance hoodies, crewnecks, joggers. And more with code yeah. dog and get on it now because they pull that after the end of the week. They know what they got. They got it good. And uh, you we, only got a 20% off. We you go got limited time behind the camera a little bit here behind the scenes. Dave, we're like, we had we each had a shirt to show for rollback, the golf shirts. Dave's like, ah, I don't have any rollback on. You always have rollback. I, I, you yeah. never take those I know. I, yeah. just forgets it's them. laundry yeah. day. So I'm wearing a, a different hoodie right now because I couldn't wear my yeah. rowback. But and like I had to, your default pant. Nine times out of ten are those so are those joggers. I have five pairs of the joggers now. Damn. Yeah. That's, I have that's nice. I have the black pair. I have these gray pair. I have like a white pair that's like fucking slacks basically. And I have a navy boot blue pair and um a brown pair. There we go. All right then. Go get row back. Code yeah. dog. All right, we can uh get into the draft. All right. On that note, let's get underway here. Chief here on the clock. I'm taking the most famous smooch of all time, uh, World War II, the sailor kissing the girl in, in Times Square. What? <laughs> it's not even the biggest, the best, or most iconic uh, photo of that war. But you can see <laughs> the continue. end of the war. It's the most iconic. I mean, there's one other one that's in yeah. contention of that. I think this is. Are there statues of this one? There should be. There should be. Are there? No. No. You can take most iconic statues if you want. I'm taking most iconic photos. And uh, I, I know, I, I think this is better. This is the end of the war. We won, rejoice. You think assault's better? What? You think assault's better? Assault? Yeah, assault. You're calling this assault? She looked willing in that day. She wow. did. Her hands oh, are hanging all limp. Oh, willing, Chief. Real Ooh. nice. Real yeah, nice. Yeah, I think she, yeah, this is a different era. This, you, Dave. It was a different era. This and is also you know woke-ass Dave. You uh, don't know anything what? about that girl. <laughs> Dave. I do know he grabbed is a Dave, random girl and just threw a kiss on her. Is Dave a lib? Oh, she was random? I don't yeah. I don't, I don't think she was random. She, they're they're like everybody everybody was in the mood. The war no. was over. The it war was, was over. You're telling the me he just, they got married. Yeah, it was a random. They got married. Wait, what did you say? Are Tom? you sure about I, yes. I mean, I could be incorrect. They got married. I thought he just grabbed a rando from the street. They got I married. It, I, Those I thought two. it was a rando as well. I thought it was like that's the whole moment that made it great. I didn't know they got married. Chief might be hey, making this up. On, I on the I fly. am making. I know. That. I I, I, I was that. I was <laughs> like about to I was about to Google no, it. I'm I like, don't I, look at if you have a problem with if Davy Lib has a problem I, with that picture. 
I mean, Jesus Christ, is, that is that is not. It's that's not the that end I have, of the war. I'm cel everyone's celebrating the end of the war. It's I. It's an iconic picture. If you want to say the picture's problematic, fine, Dave. Dave, I'm, Dave's I'm got definitely a problem with trying everything. to poke holes. Of course, a, I think this, it this is, is damaging your whole brand. I, I think never want to hear you make of a first round pick. Perhaps I think that it'd be like I don't know. It, you're drafting. You're drafting Scottie Pippen. No. Instead of well, MJ, we'll get, we'll get to it. Yeah, we'll get to it. So I'm taking Sailor kissing. I think I think that to me the end of the war, um, that scene in New York City, Times Square, the, the uniform. Was that on Seventh Avenue? It might have been. The Seventh Avenue run Times through Square. Times Square. Broadway, sure, Broadway, Seventh Ave. Yeah. Now was this the one one you were thinking of, Robbie? It was not. I, I uh, figured that we were not aligned. <laughs> I, I think everyone's going to say no to that one. Well, clearly, Dave says no. It's not I even the no. best picture of that war. Dude, <laughs> or most famous, I, I or say, like any way you I slice it. I would say the thing that you're thinking of is more of a video. It's not. It so is. That's, a his, that's history. That's history. Yeah, it's history. a picture, too. I know what Dave's saying. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a and a statue. It is a statue draft is what? Next month, guys? We call yeah, we could do it. Yeah, oh, I would love I'm to saying, do I'm saying it's such an iconic photo that they've yeah. made statues of that. They haven't. Of, I don't. Of I don't this know. One, at least that I'm aware of. Th this guy sounds like someone. We. I don't know if we can do a statue draft. He wants to tear them all down. So, that's the guy to my right wants true. to tear down all the statues. I, we said a couple. Of we the celebrate couple Christopher of, Columbus in this home, in spite of the fact that he is Italian. <laughs> we we sent a couple East Coasters to Chicago, and all of a sudden we have Woke Sox Dave. Yeah. Is that a real yeah. thing that's happened in Chicago? Woke Sox Dave. Wow. Woke Sox Dave. I don't think it's Lipstool. You know, yeah, just absolutely. grabbing random women and throwing <laughs> smacking kisses on their faces. How do you know they weren't? How do you know they just grab the random woman? I'm it? pretty what, sure you that's ever, the. You ever kissed a girl you met the same day, the first day, Dave? I've never just grabbed a girl and kissed who know they could have been flirting all day long, that, and that moment was captured. You don't know. I to feel sailor like kissing nurse pick. I'm going to say this in defense of Chief. Thank you. Even if it gets me canceled here. Uh, oh, she's got all, his th face all over him. Are you a Dave's a diehard World War II guy. We know this. He knows the history of all this stuff. That being said, we know how bad that war was just based on all the documentaries we watch and everything. I think everyone came to an agreement by like 1944. When this shit's over, you're just kissing the person closest to you. Or that should have been. Oh, cool. that should have been. If like God, a Peace offering yeah. at church. I got I got bad news for you. There are statues of this. Okay. <laughs> Not, I was thinking there might be. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty iconic. Yeah, you had to look it up though. You don't know because the because True. the photo is the most iconic. Where's it at? Um, you're making this Deer, up too. Dearborn, Michigan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice suburb of Dearborn, good. Michigan. I, I just looked up the history of it. Uh, she just died in 2016. He just died in 2020. Oh, so they live shit. nice long oh, lives. Rest in peace. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I actually happened. And to it was this. rando, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. Saying, it was rando. The so photo heard, that I, ended World I, War II. Full disclosure: I was doing a little bit of research for the bar school sectionist, and there was actually an entire debate about the most iconic photo of all time. Between it was back in the day, bar school radio was Dave KFC and uh, Liz, and. Basically, Dave kept saying the the one I think Dave's alluding to was the most iconic. Chief, you do have Liz Gonzalez in your corner. She was making the case for this. So in Dave's corner is Dave. You had Liz, who was arguing hard for that. She said that photo is more iconic to girls because it's love. It's New York City. You're sending postcards back to your family when you're in New York City. So there has it is been a, a it's a, it's a gushy, lovey-dovey pick. From Which Chief. I love Chief's love. A guy. I love yeah. love, but yeah. I don't love being on the Liz Gonzalez side of that argument, <laughs> I was hoping. I was hoping Dave to be Portnoy on Portnoy doesn't tell a lie on the Portnoy <laughs> side. <laughs> All right, it's to me. Mm -hmm. I know what moment you're talking about, Dave. I'm not going to take it though. You should fuck him. No, because I like something he was, better. He was probably for the other side. Yeah, that's yeah. True. I like uh, fuck you. <laughs> I like something better. Go ahead, try it, Ed. Do it. Do what? I think I know. I'm taking the men eating lunch on the uh, skyscraper, on the beam. See, this is exactly what I was talking about for this draft. I have no idea what they were building, where they were, what part of the earth they were on. I'm sure it was New York City or something. But that photo we've all seen a million times, and it's just the photo we know. It's you, a perfect the original guys being dudes. Yeah, like yeah. that picture really it, is awesome. It gives me the heebie-jeebies yeah. watch looking at it, though. Of course. Yeah. 
just looking at it. Just looking at it. I hate. Li- you yeah, don't. You ever see those videos of like parkour dudes on with GoPros on Instagram? Yeah, I think they're sweet. And they're like, I I get like kind of clammy have, hands yeah. watching those. No, I think it's. I mean, that's a great picture. I. The fact that you don't know what it what building it was or anything like that, I think, is a strike against it. I I think it's a strike. Oh, I don't think it. so. I think why you don't need to know that. It's just such an iconic photo; it transcends that. Yeah, exactly. But it's I feel like art, if it was so picture. iconic, you would know everything about it. It's the photo mm, is so iconic that don't you think don't so. need to know anything I, about it. You just know the photo. I don't know everything about Mo- the Mona Lisa. You know. Yeah, you do. It stares at you no matter what I angle don't. at it you're looking at. I know at. it's I know that smaller much. than it looks. I do know this, that I think it's just an average painting at best. <laughs> it's Da Vinci. Right, it's in the yeah. Louvre. Like, I mean, you you know things about it. That's all I know. Da Vinci, Louvre, smaller than it looks. It. I didn't know it was smaller than it looks. I, I thought it was actually bigger I, than it looks. I actually so don't agree with that. Though. I don't think it it's is. It's like smaller. the Las Vegas sign. It's pretty tiny. I would agree with you about the Las Vegas sign. The Mona Lisa is about what I expected. Oh, you saw it in person? Yeah. I went to Louvre. Did the eyes follow you? Like it Scooby-Doo? did kind of. It's a little Fancy. weird. And then there's like... It does it even if you look at it on the computer. There's a, there's a long line to, and like a crowd around it at all times. You kind of have to like work your way up and then you get up there and you're like, huh, nice. Good photo. <laughs> Good picture. <laughs> Dave, nice you painting. Got, you said the computer. Did you get duped by one of those pop-up ads back in the day where her eyes were shifting? Maybe. And her boobs grew? No, it does kind of. It does kind of though. That was sweet when you, you hit the space bar. <laughs> yeah. you remember that that's old school internet dude i don't think i remember that <laughs> you don't remember that times. no yeah it was like old school like uh, e world shit yeah it was like it was yeah. just a picture of her and you just hit the space bar and and hit the space she's got nice yeah. tickle bitties yeah it's funny <laughs> um back to the men eating lunch in the skyscraper i don't know like i i really don't know what, know what else there's to say about it but it's, it's americana it really is it, industry yeah you know, i'll never argue against americana at boom no. time I think this uh, is the perfect pick for the spirit of this draft. That photograph is everybody knows exactly what you're talking about. Um, and it's just a still shot. There's, there's no video. I know it's obviously old. There's nothing behind it, mm-hmm. which makes it iconic to me, which makes it a perfect pick to me. Okay. We, I mean, that was the inspiration for the old radio room at Barstool was remember we had, they put, you know, Dave on there. Oh, I didn't know the that. Original dudes. And then they yeah. basically just updated it to like look barstooly. Uh I actually, to be honest with you, when I was putting these all down, I was like, well, I'm never gonna draft this one because I thought it was the Empire State Building, who some people may not know is my nemesis in this world, because he's a front running scumbag fuck who always roots against New York teams, despite being named the Empire State Building, which is the name of the New York State, is the Empire State. So he's a fucking asshole. Nonetheless, so is Tyler O'Day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can. Uh, I told Tyler I don't have beef with him. <laughs> no, when I, no, saw him no, the I don't, I don't actually stuff. have beef with Tyler. <laughs> Nonetheless, I just looked it up here, Ed, because this is the reason I I said let's try. I I, was, I pitched maybe we do sports history because we're just gonna we're all idiots here. We're none of us are gonna know what these the historical uh, pictures were from. I looked it up just now. This was from the RCA building in Manhattan. The 69th floor, a little 69 joke as well. So, you know, the the boys knew what they were doing even back in 1932 when it was taken. I don't think I know what the RCA building is. Is it still up? It is uh, at Rockefeller Center. I don't know what it is now, but I guess it's somewhere in that in that area. So, okay, uh, yeah, that's all I got there. They were iron workers, according to the Wikipedia page I'm looking at right now. What if you dropped your Apple core? You know how, Probably do you remember hearing if you throw a penny off the... Kill yeah, somebody. You kill someone. Yeah, it would, yeah, it's like a bullet. I, a, I don't know if that's true, but it's true. <laughs> yeah. That would I think have, they did it would hit terminal velocity. We can day. do some math here. Uh, did they? Things, gravity so. pulls things down at 9.8 meters per second per second. I think the Let's go. Uh, Sears Tower is 1,500 feet high or give or take a few feet. Um, that's 100, it's going about 150 miles an hour, Ed. That penny when it hits your head. I think that'll do some damage. Wouldn't, wouldn't feel pleasant. Would it? Uh, I'm sorry. So that's my history. That's fine, right? I yeah. just kind of yeah. Yeah. also probably butchered those numbers. Uh, Directionally it's correct. all right. The, they'll put the uh, yeah. Zach we'll Galifianakis hangover yeah, 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 yeah. drift by me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Robbie. So my 1-1 one, one is still on the board, and I'm very happy about that. Your history pick was my number one on my history category. 
But I'm going Muhammad Ali standing yeah. over Sonny Liston sports yeah. moment. This one is talk about transcending sports, transcending boxing. Everyone and their mother and their grandmother knows this photo. It's the all time talking mm-hmm. shit photo, the all time Photoshop yourself on top of Muhammad Ali photo. I think KFC did that for second round TKO. So mm-hmm. this one is without a doubt, I think the greatest sports photo ever taken. One of the greatest, probably a top 10 photo ever taken. Great, great, great. Yep. Totally worthy of a first rounder. Sports is deep, though. That's my only thing. So it I, is. I, th- I don't think you're going to regret that. Because I think people at the end of the day, sometimes we overthink that shit in this room. Yeah. The drafters where you're like, oh, I want to get my like thin categories. Typically, the strategy is just take the best overall and figure out the rest later. So I think you made the right move. This is a great photo. Like just that fucking power fist. Yeah. Fucking, uh, Isn't he like yelling at him to get up? Isn't that what it yeah. is? He's talking shit. They yeah. had a big shit talk before the fight. They had two fights, actually. Yeah. And, yeah, this this is just – it's the best. It's Muhammad Ali in one image. Yeah. Uh, now, I could be wrong. I think this might happen with a lot of the iconic photographs, again, because we're idiots. I'm pretty sure they he thought Sonny was taking a dive, and that was the whole thing. He's telling him to get up. So, it, it like, I think a lot of people see it as, like, you fucking bitch, I just knocked you out, where I think Ali is telling him to get up. Right. Again, not 100% – Sure they about called that? it the phantom punch. Right. Yeah, the phantom punch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I remember seeing a documentary or 30 for 30 something somewhere about how like Muhammad Ali's like shit talking really started before this because they you know, like somewhere somebody told him the only thing Sonny Liston is afraid of is a crazy person. So mm-hmm. Muhammad Ali like made himself seem like crazy. And that's like what his like strategy was like pre fight. Like I'm going to make this guy think I'm a fucking lunatic. And like that may have contributed to like him just being like, ah, I'm staying on the ground, staying on the mat. Like Brilliant. That. Great, great pick. Mm-hmm. Great fucking photo. Yeah. I think it's a 1 1 for sports for sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I do agree. With and that. if it's a 1 1 for any category, I think it can compete for 1 1 as a whole. I agree. Great, great, great pick. So you're going to do it now, Dave? Yeah. You're up, Dave. Do it. This uh, is a little strategy coming into play here because I don't think Clem would take what I would take right now, so I am going to do it on that count. I am going with Iwo Jima, Mm -hmm. raising the flag. Uh, It's the most iconic picture of World War II, bar none, at least from the American perspective. Um, Disagree. You're just objectively incorrect there. I don't don't think so. You you absolutely are. Um, It was... uh, you could you could argue as a turning point of the Pacific Theater. It was such an iconic moment as a whole that they restaged the photo that you see here. Uh, they they lifted up a smaller flag as the battle was actually uh, winding down on Iwo Jima Island, and they um, it was it was like the commander said, "Wait," or the uh, major rather from the bottom of that mountain was like, "No, wait, wait, we have to." memorialize this exact moment because this is this like we took this island we're gonna win the war now at least the pacific theater so um i, I it's inarguable that this is the most iconic <laughs> picture of that war i would say probably in american history some people would say that the other his, uh, history picture taken in this draft no one one would it have been possible without the exactly? I, I I had that I had that bookmarked in my head to bring up to Chief. It wouldn't have even, his picture wouldn't have even happened if it wasn't for my picture. So that point for me, anyways. Good point, Dave. Good point, Dave. I mean, but I'm celebrating the end of the war. He there's still thousands and thousands of people that still have to die while his photo is being taken. So I I'm closing the book. The war is over. Let's all rejoice. Let's live in peace together. Nobody it, died after that. Yeah, that's true. In fact, people. A lot of people were made that night. So, True. You know, a lot of life was made. Yeah. Clem, baby what, boomers. Are, are you a history nerd? Yes. Yes. All right, Ed. What you're you're not as big of a history buff as as the rest of us. What would you say between Chief's picture and my picture? Would you immediately think of if you were if World War II was brought up to your? It's it's Iwo Jima, but however. The picture for you, we got romance novel chief over there, and we got the brute over here. It kind of makes sense <laughs> you know for what? who you guys it's are. It's perfect. There yeah. you go, Ed. <laughs> they had to fight, actually, right after that, too. The Japanese just didn't surrender on that island. Bonsai charges and shit, even after that flag was raised, and they knew that defeat was inevitable. 
didn't oh, surrender damn, and nothing. That sucks. Mm -hmm. Good pick there for just the a little fucking airstrip in the middle of the Pacific. Yeah, three miles, three square miles yeah. or some shit. All right, Clem. If, well, if there's ever a tattoo bet that comes up between you two, that should be the tattoo bet. I don't. Dave we're not gets ever Iwo Jima, doing that. Chief gets a uh, VJ kiss. <laughs> I like that. We should make it happen. I'm not a doing any tattoo bets ever. Too, like as big as you can get the tattoo. <laughs> like so on your whole, your whole back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, Chief, that I mean, you get a girl back to the you know Casa de Chief, and then she sees you have the kiss on your back. You know, the runways have been cleared and you were ready to land my Like Steve O's portrait of himself on his back, like that big. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's the plan. <laughs> oh, right. man. All right. I'm torn here because there's some, there's a lot of ways I can go. I will say, I wouldn't have felt good about taking any of the ones that were taken before me. I think fifth is the perfect spot to be in this draft here. I don't know how it will go in rounds three and four, but one and two, I, I have a full array of stuff here. I will say Ali, I might've taken at that spot. I feel like that's a good one, one. Um, <clears throat> let's see who has one, two, three, seven, seven. Okay. I don't want to load up on history here, but I do think this has, is a clear tier above everything else. And I think it does. It's a little extra just cause I mean, I was alive during that time, obviously. And it's local. It's the 9-11 reason, the flag, mm -hmm. the firefighters. Um, that's, I think, kind of the on the same level. It hits the same marks as the other ones. So uh, that's my first round pick. Any, any, does anyone have a problem with the firemen raising the 9-11 flag right now? <laughs> really? Uh, nope. Right here. Let's hear. You know what? I I'm have cool a with problem it. with it. <laughs> it's not. Obviously, it was a... a it was... Wow. Awful, awful situation. Oh, and that that's correct. Oh, thanks, Dave. Was a glimmer of good in a sea of evil in that moment. However, it's just not old enough for me to like qualify as historic per se. Oh. Okay. Right. That's that's the knock all all that's the spin that I don't even believe that like I will try to put on history. It. No, I mean it's just like it's obviously history. It's it will be remembered for the rest of history. However, it's just it happened during our time, ago. so it's like, I don't know, it, it doesn't count as history to me in my head. Iconic is the, uh, oh, yeah. I guess this is the history category, though, but nonetheless. I wonder the history behind that. Like, were those guys instructed to do that? Was it just something that took upon themselves? I don't know. That's, I'm sure it's out there because I know. The I, I saw their names are, today. Like, everyone knows their names. Yeah. yeah, their names are all out there. It's not like uh, Iwo Jima where they only had a couple of them or. They well, I won't say that one because it's not picked yet. But they do know the three firefighters' names. Yeah, uh, it is good. Like the, you know, I mean, not good, but the image itself, like you see the wreckage behind. Yeah, it, yeah. Like they're they're all dusty. Like it is kind of. That's why I was trying to pick my words carefully. Yeah, yeah. No, I hear you. Um, yeah, I and I like I remember at the time I was in. I'm so fucking old. I was a sophomore in college when when that happened that day. And that kind of like that picture was like, all right, like everything's going to be like, fuck those assholes. We're going to go We're light them up them. now mm -hmm. and like everything like the U.S. will, will strike back. So it kind of just gave hope for like the yeah. nation. I mean, it was so fucked, man. It was so fucked. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm moving past. Can we move past that one? Yep. That was, yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for doing it, Clem. Yep. Uh, let's see. Do I go with the barstool one now to really, <laughs> really like the movie? <laughs> let's see. Uh, ch -ch -ch Four histories early for the record. Four histories in the first round. Yeah, that one Nerds. I did think. Yeah, <laughs> I think it, all of them could be considered history yeah, in some to way. To a degree. Yeah, yeah. but you, we know. Right, 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 right. I'm the only guy putting sports in Barcelona sports right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we've come to. All right, you know what? I'll take it from the Chicago boys just because they left it out there. I'll take MJ free throw line. Yeah. Yeah. That, I, that I one, the one from behind. Uh, the angle from behind, the side angle. I think the side. Oh, yeah, the, the side. Angle. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. The side, side angle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. You behind. See? There's one from. Be oh, behind the basket. You mean. No. Behind, him. behind Jordan. Behind him? Like from the other baseline. I think you're confabulating there, Chief. You think there's not a picture? <laughs> there's definitely a picture like from the rim. Yeah, from like under the. There's one from, the from the under the rim. Yeah. yeah. That one's but awesome. The side picture, I think. But the, the side iconic. one's more prevalent. The side's yeah. a go. Yeah. 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 
I really the wanted this one, Clem. The one where he's holding it like that. You haven't seen. I mean, this is like to me like that's like the picture. That's this guy not the AI dunk. That's Jordan not the photo. dunk. He's bro. talking about the free throw line dunk. I thought it was the final shot from like the free throw line. Sorry. Oh, um, oh, well, that's a fair. My bad. Fair, uh, confusion, but... My bad. So MJ <laughs> dunking the slam dunk. Yeah. Dunk, like the yeah. like the yeah. Do you man. know that picture? They, this jump picture man. is so perfectly timed at like the peak of his jump. His feet have to be a obviously his knees are bent, but his feet have to be like six feet off the ground. How one man can jump that high? It's like that, it's it defies physics. I'm stunned your brain went there. Jordan from the free throw line definitely just means the dunk yeah, contest. Yeah, can I tell you? Yeah. He's having a bad brain day. Ed. I'm not having a bad brain day, but like I. That's game six winner over Utah. Yeah. Ninety eight. No, what I you know. Just, like, that's, yeah. No, I know. And yeah. like this became like the Jumpman logo. Like. Yeah. 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 All right. I fucked up. Looks like he's floating. Yeah. And you're right. That's what it became an iconic brand symbol, dude. Yeah. Billions with a B. Billions yeah. of dollars from that I, one moment. I wanted to jump in and argue <clears throat> with, with Octagon Bob about the Ali Liston because this is really good, too. Oh, I mean, this is, yeah, this was on my list. Yeah. Very good pick, Mr. Clum. Thank you. I think Chief wanted, like, his wedding picture. Chief's thinking love right now. He's in, he's in love. With <laughs> he's thinking of the I'm going to recover. I'm going to recover. <laughs> uh, White Sox Dave. Um, I think I am the first one to dip my toe into the pop culture category. And I'm going to go with Marilyn Monroe on the vent, on like the sewage vent, sewer vent thing where she's holding her skirt down. Yep. It's a great uh, one. This uh, was on my list. And I actually said to like Nate right before the draft, I said, oh, I was doing this. He said, can I see your list? I said, all right, I'll give you a little sneak peek. And he said, I don't know what picture you're talking about there. And I Googled it for him and I showed him and he said, I've never seen that before. Shut well, up. Nate, like, there's no oh, way you're 35 up. years old and you've never seen that, dude. That's he's the one person on earth who's never That's seen that picture. Yeah. Preposterous. That's Come preposterous. On, he said, is that iconic? And I was like, yeah, it is. Dude, I think Dave just won the draft. I think it's <laughs> it's I, one of the most iconic really photos sick. ever, regardless yeah. of That's, that's what genre I or whatever. Yeah, he didn't win shit. It's a good pick. It's all right. No, I got a third pick. No one's going to touch that. It's going to really win me the draft. It's a fantastic. I mean, yeah, it's classic. And that's another thing where there might be video of this. Yeah, there the is. Picture it's is the, the picture. picture. Everybody remembers yeah. the picture. Yeah. Yes. And that's what I mean. When did she die in the 50s? She died pretty young, 60s. right? 60s. 60s, I think. The Kennedys killed her. Yeah, the Kennedys knocked her off because, uh, you know, she was banging John. And maybe and Bobby, Robert and too. maybe Bobby and yeah. Robert probably. Yeah. She was just getting like. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if Jackie got a little run on that too. Marilyn remote Monroe is a freak. They say. <laughs> run Mo, I like that. Run, 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 Mo. run Mo, run Mo, <laughs> Marilyn Run Mo. Dave, I got some good news for you, Dave. Looks like we got ourselves a statue of this moment in Birmingham, England, according to the Wikipedia. There we go. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> nothing but statues. Draft nothing but statues. I think I? Nate has to have beat. He had to have been fucking with you. Dude, I showed him a couple pictures that were on my list, and he had never seen them. I, I don't think this guy, like, he would never clicked the images tag, tab on Google. He just he knows the, there. the Tom DeLong candids. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the picture I always associated with it was in my head one way, but the picture I'm getting here that, like, is on literally the Wikipedia. She's kind of like doing like a pose and stuff. It's I always thought it, she it looked like it was hot. set up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I always thought it was a different picture. Um, so I've seen the picture before. I guess it's just nowhere like I thought it was in my head. I don't know. It's weird. Mandela effect shit. Yes, sir. Um, all right, Robbie, you're up. This is really tough. I don't know where I'm gonna go now. I think I'm gonna go history. Because there's not as much on my list. I'm not much of a nerd like you guys are. So I think I'm gonna go... ever said that in yeah, his life. That, that's, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna disagree with that. I think you guys are a bit of a bit of nerds over there. I'm gonna go with the Hindenburg explosion yeah, as absolutely used on the cover positively. of Led Zeppelin's yep. uh, first album. And this is just the first time I saw it was on the Led Zeppelin album. And then when you find out this is a real image that like actually happened, 
It's pretty fucking crazy. Also, I believe it was taken in New Jersey. It was Lakewood, New Jersey. It was it was a town over from where my grandparents live. Um, yeah, I guess a super weird town. That's Lakewood, like, did you say? It was Lakewood. Yeah. That's oh, shout like out to the Lakewood Blue Claws. Um, that's true. Team. The the independent ball team, I think. Um, I have been to those games, but yeah, it's a, it happened in Jersey. That image is yeah. it's top five photo ever. And, and like, like I said, rest it was in like peace it was to all that died, but it's it's so rock and roll from mm -hmm. the Led Zeppelin cover that it's like it's just badass now. A first round pick. If you would have taken that first overall, I wouldn't have batted an eye, Bob. Wow. This is another one I just don't know anything about what happened. I think it was a thing. I think it might have been broadcast live when it exploded. I just have no idea about it. But I, it was I think in all of our top ten history moment with uh, photos, right? So yeah, just one oh, of those yeah. things. The the photo is almost bigger than the story of it all. Can we do something True. on the Hindenburg? Because I don't know much about it either. What's that? Can we do something on the Hindenburg? Sure. I don't it's know. more of like a... oh, I'd listen to the fuck out of that podcast. Yeah, they were. Right. They used uh, put it to, put it on the list. It was the last <laughs> time a blimp. There's only like 15 blimps in the world now. It's a but... great stat. I'm starting not to believe it because you see them somewhat regularly, <laughs> yeah. like a time or two yeah. a year. You feel like yeah, yeah, and it's like if you know that, like why don't we just make more blimps? Because they're slow <laughs> as know. fuck. Yeah, it's what not much need? use for them, I guess. Yeah, but they're using Great hydrogen though. or some something explosive. Yeah, I think you're right. And that was the last time they used it for obvious reason. I gotta say though, Bob, as a smart man, a man full of tact, it wasn't the best move to go history there when four histories were already. That taken. is true. That Co is true. Could have got oh, that fifth, and damn. nothing would have been taken. It would not have been taken. See, I'll blame that on the three G. <laughs> The yeah. miscellaneous, that's why I took mine, too, because miscellaneous, someone could double-dip history, right? Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Miscellaneous, yeah, I figured any of these categories can basically be thrown in there. Yeah, right? that's yep. true. That's the flex spot in fantasy. Mm -hmm. Anything okay. can go in there. That's a good point. Um, all right, it's to me. I'm going back to what I said off the top of the show, and I'm going to scratch and claw. I hope you guys agree with me. Um, I'm going pop culture, and I'm taking the OJ Bronco photo. Ooh. Okay. I think the photo is powerful as fuck. I know the chase it's was the like chase, cutting man. into all live TV. I get it. No, I had this on my. It was my next pick, dude. The photo, the overhead. Yes, yeah. and he's just in the and car, the, and there's like eight LAPD yeah. squad eight, cars behind 80. him. Sure, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But th that's what's that's what you could see in the photo. That picture is fucking crazy. Like looking at a man who's in a high-speed chase that is a fucking all-star running back. Like, that, it's Only insane. fucking high running back trophy. to ever rush for 2,000 yards in a 14-game season. One of the best to ever do it. My, and my, be dad, to my say, dad's idol until he murdered his wife. That was it. Born on us. the same day as me, July 9th. They're both July 9th cancers. He, Damn. Allegedly. I'd be remiss to say he is allegedly. really fucking, he was really fucking funny in his movies, and he's a charming dude. He yeah, is. it's just true. You should be He's remiss a... to say that. You should probably not say it. <laughs> it's objectively the truth. His Twitter videos are funny. Man. Yeah, What's they're up, Twitter world. My hey, favorite. Uh, is he still doing those? Yeah. Yeah. My favorite thing about him is they wanted. I, I read somewhere it could be Urban Legend that they wanted him to be the Terminator, but they yeah, thought he was true. too charming and endearing to ever uh, pull it off. Be a villain. Yeah. Hmm. That well, fellas, I, as the resident old on the podcast, let me tell you what I was doing during the police chase of the 1994. It was the Knicks were in the finals, game five, won the game, they cut away. But, like, OJ, I, like, was old enough at that point to know what, like, I say OJ was, like, Michael Strahan and, like, The Rock combined. Where it's, like, electricity, popularity, like, kind of hits all the different ranges. So it's not like he was a good running back that was, like pretty charming as like a side character in a movie he was fucking like just like beloved and the fact that he does that crime that's how the picture you get for allegedly, Ed, we, yeah. allegedly allegedly and we're, so we're talking no, the not legit allegedly picture. he got we're off not talking like the overhead shot we're doing the picture where it's al by, by the way al cowlings is the dude driving in this so it's him and then like the police cars right behind him yes that's the picture we're talking yeah okay. yes so I will is anyone like so you're or do you guys agree with Robbie where are you at like I that picture he does probably don't remember it, right so no you can't remember. I, I know I don't remember it, it was yeah four years before I was right. born I've seen the 30 for 30 June 17th is it or something like that yeah. it's got the Rangers parade yeah Knicks in the playoffs this going the on earthquake uh, from my perspective my young friggin Gen Z millennial whatever you call me at this point 
I think the chase on the news is a lot more iconic than the photo. Yeah. I don't like immediately picture a photo when you say that, but I did look it up and it's a good photo for sure. Dude, it's fucking insane. Yeah. No, it's. Yeah. I don't this have the is one of my like, of, like earliest, I just grew earliest up with memories. OJ as a murderer. So I don't, you know, I didn't, it wasn't a thing where he was the rock and then he was a murderer for me. Yeah. Same. You don't remember the chase? I, no, I have no. like flashes of memory and it's, they're fuzzy, but it's one of my earliest memories is seeing the chase. I would have been four. I just counted. There's 13 squad cars behind him. I, yeah. I don't remember the chase, but I That's remember. five stars in GTA. I remember oh, him yeah. getting Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, blinking or not a blinking. I, I remember Solid him getting off. I was in first grade, yeah, and it was, was like the talk grade. of all the students in first grade. Everybody was talking about how how OJ <laughs> got off. I would yeah. love to be a fly in the wall for that first grade conversation. <laughs> it was <laughs> six year old talking was about the trial. <laughs> every single person on earth was talking about it. Every single I'm well, sure. at least in it didn't matter how old or young you were. Everybody was talking about it. From what I remember. I don't think this is going to surprise you, Ed. I'm pretty sure Large has this picture, and it's signed, I believe, by Al Collins. I don't know if Get it's OJ. I'm here. pretty sure it's Al wow. Collins. But I believe Large has a fish, or did have a fish, named OJ Swimson. So he's a nice. big fan of the entire OJ. Uh, that's such a large know. fish name. That's, okay. Yeah, that's great. Wait, who who is the driver? Al Collins. Collins? AC. Did he ever, known. like, get in trouble and then later on in life, like, uh, monetize that or anything? Because I don't... I, I'd have never heard of him until now. He should sell like Matchbox Hot Wheels style Broncos or something. Yeah. Yeah. Man, talk about uh, a fucking story to tell the fellas. <laughs> you know, hey, remember that time back in 93? <laughs> I think he like called someone. I don't know if it was the police or like someone famous. And he's like, this is AC. And they're like, who? It's like, you know who this is? Like, they're like no, I don't know. Oh, you're OJ's friend. Like, yeah. He's, a, he's an ex-football player. I think that's how him, they, they met at USC. So, uh, but like Al Collins, a lot of people, again, this is the old man to me, like Cato Kalen became like a name. Like all these people became names because of the trial and, and everything that came out of it. And that picture is fucking just, it strikes you. That's a striking picture that you took. Like how chill he is like in this photo i don't know it's a great it's a great photo that's a good photo for memes too i don't think i've ever seen anyone meme that photo that is fucking perfect for memes yeah, it is. i'm gonna meme that photo this weekend I'm it was originally memed on seinfeld yeah. like two years after it happened <laughs> that's true it's before meme was actually a word right yes, it's fair. if tyrod taylor plays and he gets hurt you got to use this and be like, Tyro Taylor saw what Daniel Jones was going through and he OJ yeah. out of there. <laughs> when Tyra Taylor and when he gets hurt. I, I've seen enough Giants games this year to know what's going to happen on Sunday night before yeah. it happens. Uh, Chief to you. I'm going with Neil Armstrong on the moon. Yeah. So that that's my miscellaneous. I feel like that is like everybody knows like the moon landing. Everybody mm -hmm. can picture that image. I can't picture another guy on the moon like every time i see someone on the moon i assume it's neil armstrong and it's like he he is synonymous no with respect that. for buzz buzz was number two buzz buzz kind of went crazy i liked when he punched that guy in the face though for it was crazy i'll yeah. punch you in the face yeah slander yeah uh wait was that kind of recent it was like maybe 15 years a couple ago. years oh, no, ago. Yeah. i thought it was, no i thought it was only like a few years ago it was i think it was pre-covid probably like 10 could, yeah COVID uh, fucks my brain I'm realizing that everything fucks my brain. I I think I'm just old. Everything that happened in the 22 to or 20 to 22 period to me, it's like it might as well have been 10 years ago now. I saw I saw a meme that said like 20 2009 to 2014 was nostalgia. 2015 to 2019 was all 2016 and then everything else 20, 20, 2020 yes. to now was the pandemic. That's that's <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm taking Neil Armstrong on the moon as my uh, um, miscellaneous. It's also talk about things become a statue, the MTV Awards. That's true. Came a statue. That's just their logo. Yeah. MTV's logo <laughs> yeah. for a long so, time. Very sweet. Uh, so, Wasn't yeah. That, that logo? I, now, what if was it wasn't an award? actual photograph and we didn't actually land on the moon? Well, it's still a photograph. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> the picture's cool. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if the yeah, moon landing was real, but the picture was definitely real. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It is a picture. Um, all right, my next one. I'm going to the sports category. I feel whoa, like whoa, whoa. What is? Oh, you're wrapped around your one. I'm sorry. I, I thought you were just double dipping on us here. No, I'm just, just playing by the rules, Clem. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Uh, this is like my, you know, my, my hockey is showing kind of thing, but I'm taking Bobby Orr, uh, getting tripped, scoring the goal. It's probably the most iconic hockey picture ever. I feel like every kid um, who played hockey, at least kids that are my age, everybody has a f- signed, framed Bobby Orr picture of that. Uh, my parents have one in their house. Every there was on every single tournament. What? What are you continue. shaking your head about? Continue. Every single kid, like they would always sell them at hockey tournaments, and everybody like, you'd win it in raffles. He's probably signed no less than five hundred thousand of those pictures. Oh, easily. Yeah, easily. Yeah. So they're everywhere. Every single hockey player I know has that. So Bobby Orr. I had to Google it. So because of that, that pick stinks. Oh come on. This guy is a sneaky idiot when it comes to sports. He doesn't know anything about hockey. You could Google the Bobby Orr photo. This was number two next to Muhammad Ali on my list. Yeah. That's, this is like the that's photo. That's bad, Dave. That's yeah. funny because yeah, that, he that's just, fine. like, probably an hour ago, Titus and Brandon Walker walking out here to do mostly sports, and Dave's like, hey, anytime you guys want me to come on, I'm down to come on. I, <laughs> I love doing audio. He's like, yeah, but uh, do you watch sports? He's like, Eh, not as much anymore, so that might be a problem. <laughs> it's mostly sports, though, not 100% true. completely sports. Just World War II docs at night for you. It's not true. I've evolved. Into what else? Into... Um, Sticks concerts. Music. No, yeah, that's you play just, guitar now. I actually have gotten a little bit better at it. You're playing at Wishfest. I believe it. Um, I wouldn't even say this is your hockey guy. I'd say this is a flat-out good pick. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. It, it's another one of those unbelievable timing by the photographer. Yeah. Because I think I've seen the video and it doesn't look extraordinary, as extraordinary we see it in, in motion, but the fact he got it, it was, I guess, such a big goal. Yeah. It is one of those, oh shit, you know, iconic sports. Well, when you watch the video, like he scores and then he gets tripped and it's like, yeah. whatever. The photo makes it look like he's shooting while in the air and like he's fucking yeah. Superman. So like the photo fake, is yeah. yeah, the photo is way better than the actual. Video. And and to the so I recognize the photo once I googled it. However, when the uh, back when this photo was taken, it was probably with those like where you had to take a picture, unscrew the light bulb. So like the t- <laughs> yes. going off your timing, it had to be perfectly timed. Now it's just like they take a million fucking just pick pictures the when they yeah. hold it, you know. Yeah, and, and that you was picked the best one. That was to win the Stanley Cup too. So, okay, big moment. All right, back to me. I, I I'm very happy to get this in the third round. It's the greatest basketball feat ever, and it's Wilt 100 sign. Yeah, th- there's no video of the moment. There's no video of the 100 point game. All there is is him with that sheet that has the number 100 on it. Uh, it's been memed like crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People still use it. It's still relevant. He's a mythical creature, and that's like the most known thing about him. Yeah. Well, is that that, and picks, the, that picture and that he's and, the, and then he likes the to, ten thousand. Yeah, yeah, he's taking a lot of yeah, yeah. taking a lot of women <laughs> yeah. to, the, to the woodshed. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, there's there's conspiracies that he never even got a hundred. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. So this is his. Oh, this, this really? picture is faker than the moon landing. No, the picture is real. Yeah, the picture is real. <laughs> the picture is real. real. Yeah. Um, I think this could have gone first. Absolutely. Yeah, and, I, I think that's yeah. a big picture. Yeah, in a in the whole draft or definitely for sports, especially because there's no there's literally no video of it. That's all there uh, is of that day. I, I didn't know there was about, that. It, it was this or Jordan for me, but I knew Jordan was probably not going to make it back with three Chicago guys mm-hmm. in the draft. Yeah, and I was thinking maybe miscellaneous in it because it is that much of a. That's just dominance. That picture is just dominance. That's why it works as a meme, right? It's yeah. like this fucker just put up a hundred on her ass, and the no video of it does kind of put some like extra oomph on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. Helly Keegs just recreated it this week when she scored like thirteen points. In yeah, thousand. yeah. That goes to show how iconic it is. Kelly Keegs is recreating a Will Chamberlain picture. A noted sports hater. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm guessing exactly. someone else created that, and Kelly Keegs has no idea what that's in reference to. <laughs> yeah, I think they were like, Kelly, hold up this song. Yeah. And she was like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, who, Wilt the Still? Of course I know yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. Probably bang Kelly. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa. Whoa. Kidding. <laughs> what the Kidding. Fuck? I'm joking. Are there teammates? He could say that. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Just some, um, you know. Not for long. This guy might balls. be on the waiver wire here. <laughs> um, Thrilled to get that in the third round. Robbie. I'm going to throw it over to pop culture for mine. 
and one that I'm thrilled to get in the third round is the cover of Fuck. Happy Road. God damn it. That was my next pick, Bob. Ooh. Yeah. And the I was Beatles prepared. walking across the street. I mean, and you could pick multiple Beatles albums, I feel like, for this. There are, like, the Beatles have some of the most iconic photographs ever taken. This one, I think, takes the cake, though, in terms of, like, just yeah. pure pictures. It's them walking across the street away from Abbey Road, actually. Most people think they're walking towards Abbey Road. But it's such an iconic photo that still to this day, 24-7 at that crosswalk, yep. there are tourists there mm -hmm. taking pictures of them walking across they the street. They have a lime stream. There's a, there's yeah, a, 24 a live stream 24-7 yeah. you could watch. And Paul McCartney actually almost got hit by a car recently trying to recreate it for like a you know 50 year whatever 60 year whatever the oh, anniversary really? was him and his daughter went down to abbey road and she was going to take a picture of him crossing apparently a driver just didn't stop for him can you imagine <laughs> if they killed the <laughs> there it is on abbey road? Yeah, i think i brought this up on the album cover draft i think i told you about that yeah you might have uh apparently the locals fucking hate it i'm sure <laughs> i'm sure hey, yeah. it's gotta hey, be hey, such hey, a pain in the hey, ass you can't and drive I, over I did it i, I yeah. gave my phone to a random lady i said can you take a picture of me walking across the street she did it i had to did she you roll her eyes at you not. like god damn it more fucking american tourists no i found an american oh That's okay okay that would, mm, i nice found little... an american that was doing the same thing and i was like hey i'm alone would you mind just taking this for me she was like of course sweetie imagine if that was your walk to work you're getting asked to take a photo of someone every day yeah. you have to go alternate twice, route twice a day you have yeah. to. You got to go in the back way of yeah. whatever your building is. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Yeah, I, it's it's it's, a, it's an iconic pop culture photo. For Definitely. A hundred percent. White Sox, Dave, to you. Uh, that was going to be my next pick. Um, on that note, I'll go MJ with the trophy. Which time? With his, his when, he's dad? when he's, when he's crying like crying, over holding it. it yeah. I had uh, five sports picks on my entire draft board, and that was the fifth one that just got drafted. I think wow. that one's probably at least the Chicagoans more. If you say if you were to pull people in Chicago and say, "Hey, what's the first MJ picture you think of?" I think it'd be that one or the last second shot against the Jazz, or maybe another one. I don't know. Like MJ total. Yeah. I, st I still think you're you're sleeping on what Clum took. I think the I'm not sleeping yeah. on it. It's, def it's iconic, yeah. but I think this one you can definitely argue is every bit as iconic, it's awesome. if not more. It's awesome. It's great for sure. Um, I like the pick, like the raw emotion behind his, yeah. his face. Is, right, is pretty unbelievable. So I like the pick. I like the pick as well. Like I said, I had Ali Liston, Bobby Orr, Wilt holding a 100 sign, Jordan flying through the air. Jordan crying with the championship. Those are my five sports wow. picks. I think they're great five sports picks. Wow. Seems like the boys are humming on the same uh, mm -hmm. wavelengths. Uh, Clementine, you're up. That's not good, actually, is it? Um, Raymond's think alike. I'm really kind of shook here. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. This whole album cover thing, I didn't even think of album covers because I was trying to figure out some good, iconic pop culture pictures, and the only one I could think of was the Marilyn Monroe one that – I think Nate's the only person who's ever seen it. But now with album <laughs> covers in the mix, like that Abbey Road one is a legitimate yeah. thing. <clears throat> but then it's like, if we album covers, like art, if it's art, then that's not included, right? Like the right. Mona Lisa can't be considered. That's not a photo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that makes it easier for me here then. Uh, I'm going to go with something a little different here for the pop culture. And it's the picture of Tupac and Suge Knight the night he gets killed, and he kind of is just staring at the camera, almost mm -hmm. like he knows he's going to die. It's fucking haunting. Uh, all this stuff with Tupac, uh, that, that guy getting arrested in connection with the murder, it's feel like it's coming back up. It's bubbling young Clem back when he was living and dying with the East Coast, West Coast view back in the day. Everything that raised me was the gangster rap of the 90s. So uh, it's just, it's an unbelievable picture. It's kind of one of those things that that dude took it, probably thought nothing of it. Like, oh, I got a picture of Tupac, cool. And then, you know, next day he's dead. And it's, I think, the last picture of him, um, like actual photo of him from, of his life. Yeah, there's some, there's like, even pulling it back up now, I knew which one you were talking about. There's, it's kind of unspectacular, but there's something... There's something that makes like, it. It's. I think it's the thought that knowing what's on the immediate what's about horizon. To yeah. 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 Um, I just did a little Wikipedia deep dive on his last album, All Eyes on Me, and 
it was it was labeled that because he's like all guys want to be me all guys all girls want me uh like all eyes are on me he's like i can't walk outside without taking having a fucking picture taken of me and it was released posthumously and um i think a lot of it had to probably do with this fucking picture just like paparazzi like crazy falling is every single move and then nobody knew who killed him until apparently like a day ago no one knew who killed him when he got murdered on the Las Vegas Strip the night of a Mike Tyson fight. A very mm -hmm. not a lot of people were probably in the area that night, right, right? right? It's fucking bananas. That always just blew my mind. And here we are, twenty what is it, third like twenty eight years, twenty seven years later, we're getting an arrest. Fucking yeah. crazy, man. Because it's kind of a thinker, like you said. Like he looks so like just like whatever. Yeah, he's just like so guy. Okay. So man, like not knowing obviously what's about to happen to him. Suge Knight's looking straight, and he's like serious. Like, is he thinking about shit? Yeah. Is he, did he, did he know what was about to happen? So he's like kind of sweating. I don't know. Oh, boys, you want to talk conspiracy theories? I was convinced, I'm still pretty much convinced Tupac's alive somewhere. I'm just not sure where, if he's in Cuba, Guatemala, somewhere that ends with an A. But it does feel like you're always, like, that picture was like exhibit A for all the conspiracy theorists being like, look at them. This is the last picture. Tupac knows what's up. Suge knows what's up. And uh, there was all these clues that, and then his albums would come out because he recorded a million things yeah. before he died. And it's like, oh, this means this because of this clue. And it was QAnon before QAnon. People just fucking connecting dots and shit like that. It was crazy. Yeah. Um, all right, Clem, you need one more. All right. So we're going to do Barstool here. Uh, there is a bunch as someone that's followed this for a while. I think there are a lot of photos you could go with. But this one was kind of like my one or two. And again, I listened to that radio and Portnoy says number one with a bullet in his mind is the KO bar stool the woman yelling yeah. at him as he gives the face. Yeah. And it's kind of like, not only is it an iconic moment of Barstool, it's almost like the flag of Barstool, you could almost say in a, in a weird sense where it's like you have all these people just yelling and kind of just a dude just saying like, whatever, man. So uh, <laughs> Dave knows it like Dave and the radio thing was like newer name and just going off on it. Uh, but like that's that's our fearless leader right there. <laughs> Prep, our chip is back. Prep school face. The prep yeah, school prep face. School yeah. face. Yeah. yeah. The shrug, the face. Yeah. The lady, lady looks like me. The lighting was. <laughs> <laughs> she does look like you. Is she this does. Been a, is I, it, I actually did that for Halloween one year. YP did uh, Dave. Portnoy, did yeah, I actually oh, remember that. Funny. That is funny. That's good. Yeah, that's a good one, Clum. Another one, too, like a lot of Dave's life. It, like moments like the, the there's there's a few other ones that'll be i guess either you guys will draft or on honorable mentions where if it's if it's taken a second earlier or a second later it's not nearly the picture it is but that exact moment yeah, right right absolutely right fucking nailed it man that dave is sold his soul endeavor whatever he did to get to where he is and every single picture like would not exist if it had happened a millisecond in a different time yeah uh white Sox, dave um all right i have to do barstool what do i have left ed you have uh barstool and you have miscellaneous, miscellaneous. okay um i'll go barstool as well i'll go zon smitty <laughs> <laughs> well that's another one i would say i remember the moment more than the picture to be honest Zaz there, up, you're talking like Zaz up on the table screaming. Yeah, yeah, him. yeah. And Smitty's like looking all dumb and blockheaded, like, what did I do? <laughs> and Zaz just sitting there like all angry. I, the, oh. I, it's a I cage would, match for picture versus video, though. I think it's close. It, it is close. It's it's very close. But I always think back to there's a moment where Smitty goes to go around the table. And I don't know what was going through Smitty's mind at the time, but just from <laughs> The I, I, he, you, do you want like me to explain to like what was going through his mind? Huh? I'm sorry. Go ahead. It looked like he was about to like jump Za and Caleb like went to go get in between <laughs> him. And it's just like the whole scenario was so ridiculous and funny that I think back to that. What's so funny is knowing Za now. Yeah. <laughs> and how laid back he is. He's yeah. the most relaxed, like peaceful guy there is. I asked him about yeah. it. And he didn't really want to talk about it. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. he's like kind of like yeah. not. He's embarrassed because that was Hank and Roan got in his head. He wanted a job at Barstool, I believe. And he had a radio appearance earlier that day that was okay. But I, I think he was just kind of like talking to Dave about what his life is like. He didn't really pitch content ideas or anything like that or himself as content. 
So Hank and Roan were like, you should just go in there and yell at Smitty. Dave would love that. <laughs> you really think? And they're like, absolutely. And they sent them in there. I did not know this. Backstory. I never knew that either. I did not know that. Yeah. Oh, that's so, so funny. So I, like, but Smitty, just, like, there's an African midget screaming at me about my job output right now. That's what was going through <laughs> Smitty's head. Yeah. And he's Smitty. wearing his hat too. He's wearing that like <laughs> what, a scally cap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There, I put in Zas Smitty and went to Google Images, and there's three pictures, and they all take place at different moments. But Smitty has the same dumb look on his face. In some of the pictures, Zah has his arms up, or he's just yelling at him. But then KFC is in the background as well in each of these pictures. One, he's covering his mouth. One, he's covering his eyes. And the other one, he's just laughing with his hands crossed. And, like, that just explains that moment. It's like you, you feel bad for Smitty, but you're laughing at Smitty. It is just an unbelievable Barstool moment that is summed up in, I don't even know which picture you would want out of those three. They're I would, all incredible pictures. On like Zah's shirt too. Like, like it like yeah. couldn't be more perfect. Zah's grown that, some hair since then. The hat really does. That is the exclamation point too. Smitty wearing like the Kangol kind of hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was for like a... What was it for? It was for like sponsored for a golf outing or something. Yeah. I think he was doing the golf outing like recently. It was very close to when that whole text thing happened. And I think Zal went after him for that too. It was, yeah. That's so fucking uh, fun. That blockhead, I love him. I, I would love to like show that that image or that video to a, or just an image because it takes like dialogue out of it to like an alien and be like, describe what's going on in this picture for me. Just to like see what they would say. That's how weird of a world we live in. Zah's standing on a table in itself. I just like dismiss as just normal that he's standing on a table yelling at someone. It's hilarious, man. Yeah. It's absolutely hilarious. Uh, Robbie. I'm going to go Barstool 2 here, and there are definitely images that are more iconic than this one, but there are a few images that make me laugh as much as the screenshot of Dave's dead fish feet at the Super Bowl. Just oh, yeah. the close-up of those limp feet. Every single time I see that as a reply on Twitter, it makes me laugh out loud. I absolutely love that screenshot. Yeah, he went limp. <laughs> it's hysterical. It is, like, you could say it is pretty iconic. Him getting kicked out of the Super Bowl was, like, one of those. By Goodell, yeah, yeah. in his disguise. Yeah. I don't even – I think his feet are the bigger talking point of the, the whole situation. Is how funny his feet are. It's, he's got like Brandon Stark feet. <laughs> They're being dragged up yeah, the steps like, like completely one step like spaghetti time. noodles. That's how limp they were. No one's talking yeah. about him getting kicked out of the Super Bowl. Everyone's talking about, oh my God, look at his legs. Hilarious, yeah. hilarious great. image. Yeah. So funny. Mm -hmm. The fact that Dave like called his shot too, because didn't he say, like, I wish I had gone limp? And then like the next day he had a chance to do it and he absolutely nailed <laughs> yeah. it. He told Frankie, he's like, yeah, if they come, like, I'm going dead fish. You better film it. And then Frankie's yelling at the guy. He's like, I absolutely have a right to be here. He's on the concourse. Yeah. Like, everything surrounding that makes the picture funnier. Well, didn't they have, that like, uh, who was who the the outlaw that Johnny Depp played in that one movie? What's his name? Dillinger. Yeah, John Dillinger. Didn't they have, like, wanted posters posted of, like, Hank, Caleb, yeah. Portnoy? No, Carabas I think, for some yeah, reason. Carabas oh, yeah, Carabas was, yeah. was on there. <laughs> oh, really? Like, yeah, at like, do like, like the media at the Super Bowl? Like, keep your eyes out yeah. for these people, and it was just their mug shots from when they got arrested. And he <laughs> showed up with that Super Bowl, with the uh, the mustache, like yeah, the yeah, wider yeah. mustache. Yeah. With right. the I Heart Goodell hat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The best part about that, like, again, how Dave sold this little devil, is that was the Patriots Ram Super Bowl, which was the, like, worst Super Bowl ever. I think it was 13-10 was the final. Nothing exciting happened. So Dave had, like, an hour where he was the biggest story on the internet because no one gave a fuck about the game because yeah. it was just punts and, like, yeah. garbage football. And, like, people that I thought hated bars were like, this is hilarious, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, holy shit, he did it again. That crazy fuck did it again. Yeah. It's like while Maroon 5 is doing She Will Be Loved. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about it is she so will fun. Yeah. Be loved. All right, it's to me. I'm gonna go barstool as well. Another Dave photo, and it's the Dave buying candy photo in Chicago. Oh, that's the pigeon for one. That. And it's one of those. It's not because to make fun of Dave, but it's just like the perfect microcosm of what life was like. It's like BC and AD. You know, like if you yeah, show yeah, someone yeah. like. Dave now and you're like hey he actually wasn't always like this all you have to do is show out this photo 
He looks. Mm -hmm. I will make fun of him. He looks like a disgusting slob in that picture, but, and it's perfect. But like that's it, though, right? Like that's all you have to do is show them that photo. Yeah, this definitely. Is, this is like how it started versus how, it, how yeah, it's going. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And there's like no Kevin's video in of the it. Background pre Fleischman haircut. So yeah, he's got like short hair in the background. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. there's no. Like I said, there's no. There's no video. So it's just. It's just one photo. Yep. That's it. Yep. That's and all it's also is. like, what is he doing selling candy to a little girl? Like buying candy from a little girl? Is, is it? Is <laughs> yes. he buying it or he's selling it? I think it? he bought it. Yes, he's buying it yeah. from a little yeah. girl. It's like yes. a Girl Scout or something, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's like what was happening in that moment? Where, where were they going? Don't know anything about it, but the picture itself is amazing. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know. It's one of those things where, I mean, he was still pretty well off at that point as well. Definitely. I, I, like he, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was, that was, 20, like that was, that was 2013. Yep. Oh, oh I don't think he was well off at that point at all. He was. You don't think was, so? He was. He was doing well in thirteen. Yeah, he was doing well. I think he 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 wasn't living in. I think he was pull, step or his uh, in laws house. Yeah, I think he had his own place. But. Yeah, like Barcel said it before, like he was making like I think he was making like high six or something. Oh, like okay. close to more than but I like, thought he was, or like the company. I think so. Um, I don't know. It's so like no, he yeah. said it before on the show with me. That's the only reason why I said that publicly, but. Um, I don't know. It, there's something about it. You just you just watch it. Yeah. And you just look at it, and you're like, oh, wow, this is before and after. Um, He's got a little bit of a belly here. The, he has the bald spot because yep. before he did the hair thing, yep. right? And he's not looking very tall, I'll say, because, like, there's a little girl next to him. And the shoes are, like, it's, he calls it disgusting, Dave, right? That's what he calls it. And, again, shout out to YP. This was his first costume. Yeah. That he did, he did that, that with Ellie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, with Ellie Schnitt. Yeah. She was the girl scout. <laughs> it was very funny. And Kevin was Kevin. Kevin yeah. came back yeah. and reprised his role. <laughs> as himself. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Chief. All right, I got two picks left. I'll go Barcel too, since we're on a, on a run of them here. Um, I love the picture. It's after the final four when Wisconsin loses mm -hmm. and Dave or Dan just like wants to be dead oh, and yeah. big cat or uh, Portnoy's face is like, there's a glow. Like there's an unnatural, like devil glow coming yeah, off. He of has an aura. He's, he has so much joy in big cats demise <laughs> and death. It is perfect and like that to me like that's kind of barstool too like you don't want any of your buddies to like have mm -hmm. have happiness or joy with their, with their sports teams like dave has just taken so much pleasure in watching i don't Cat even die. think that that's why we do live shows, that wasn't basically. michigan on no, I Wisconsin? think it was Wisconsin lost in the national like Ohio championship yes, yes. to Duke, right? They lost to Duke. It was oh, after they beat Kentucky. For, it was for basketball. Yeah. yeah, and then they lost in the title. They game. They lost yeah. to Duke, and Big Cat's got his like classic Wisconsin gray hoodie mm -hmm. or uh, crew neck, and Dave's just like as happy as he's ever been. As happy as wasn't he's ever even been. Michigan, good Wisconsin. Yeah. That's a good where one. it would be exceptionally appropriate. It was just a random Wisconsin game that his friend lost, and he couldn't have been happier. But that is the point. He of does story. really look like the devil in that picture. He does. Yeah. Something about the lighting. Yeah. 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 Dan is just like just utterly defeated too. It's great. Yeah. All right. So my last one. Mm -hmm. I'm really struggling here. Um. What do you need? Just pop, pop culture. culture. Yeah. There's a million. Are there? Yeah. Oh, this is. I felt like this yeah. was like my hardest category to come really? up with. Really? Yeah. I got I'm with one left. That's pop very iconic. Pop culture for me too, man. Yeah, I want to. I want to take one, but I feel like I'll get like cross-eyed looks from that you end of the table. Want to take another smooch? Yeah. No, no, take no, smooch, no. Chief. I want, what I want to. What I want to do, oh, but I yeah. anticipate being like, you can't have that on the graphic. Is the Trump mug shot from like three months ago, where he's just like, no one likes that one. I thought that was just like a hilarious picture. He. It's funny. Fired up the Twitter machine for the first yeah, time in a couple of years. Time, yeah. to, uh, monetize it, sell it yeah. Yeah. all time backfire by the way eh. i mean i can't there's I, way better mug shots he he I also see. left that yeah. he he just did a little fucking survey of yeah, us right he, now he that's did. what he did yeah. No, I, 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 yeah that's exactly what he did can't wait to vote this guy off <laughs> i i know i'm getting voted off <laughs> yeah. so fuck you ed i'm doing i'll take the trump one unless you guys are vetoing but I'm i can't not, i i have i thought I pop culture was it. just like yeah, yeah i'll send you out the pasture yeah. yeah that's fine i gotta stop deleting shit as they go um like off my list, yeah. Uh, I would have had like five glaring better um, pop culture ones. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's, I had even a hard mug time. shots, like Ed said, like there's so many great mug shots over so here. See, like, like I it was looked, funny, but there's I, iconic ones. Yeah, but I looked those up to like I don't think there is a more iconic one than that. I think we're just too close to it. Ooh, I think someone's it's, living in the moment. You know, like Rosa Parks is more iconic than the Trump one. She wow, got, I don't Jeez. think like I can recognize her. the Rosa like Parks. Like, yeah, like she got of all fucking Tim the she Tool was, Man. She's Taylor. getting fingerprinted at. After I wouldn't draft her on this. The only other one that I think is more iconic would be like Lee Harvey Oswald, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, like, there's, like, there's a lot. Like, there's Elvis. Like Elvis. They, El- yeah, what is that? Ultra. See, but like Elvis wasn't president. Just of the keep United digging States. into this. Yeah. Guy. Nah, Sinatra's see, if I'm on the opposite side of you of an argument, I actually feel pretty good. Oh, you no, know so the, little about the, the world. Elvis so tilt that he's giving me the Dave treatment. That's how you know he's No, 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 no. I know way more about pop culture than you. About pop culture, sure. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, about that's pop culture. Nick Nolte's got a better mug shot. What? Nick Nolte's got a better mug shot. Yeah, He's but like, who gives a fuck about Nick Nolte though? Like, or or Johnny Cash has like a famous, but who, who like, I don't. Oh, you were about to who say gives it. A fuck about Johnny Cash? Were you about to? say Yeah, it? he was no. about to say it. That's disgusting. No. That's not what I said. It. You, you were, can't say what it. I was about to thinking. say. I was he about think... to say it, Bob? Oh. He was about to say. It. No, he was about. But Clem was I he about to say it. Think it's, it's, that too. I don't think it's more iconic. Than the president of the United States releasing a mugshot. You also have recency bias with this. I don't. Think he's that, also the. It was the leader of the free world. He's the most I famous like person on the planet, and he had a and he had a mugshot. Yes, it does. I don't th- like. No one's like. What's the first pop culture picture you think of? Not one person. I had in Marilyn a Monroe. A thousand. Yeah, look at this. Is there's a reason why this is my fifth category. I would have taken Here, here's Marilyn a, Here's Monroe. a better one. Parada gang, you. turn in your jerseys. That's a that's a clue. <laughs> I still don't I still don't know it. I just think it's hilarious. You just said his name. And it's 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 perfectly fine to fit in this category. But the like Trump was a former president, had a mugshot, and it goes in the pop culture category yeah, because yeah, of everything yeah. he was before. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that a little was, fucking yeah. yeah. embarrassing? That's a history for any other president is their mugshot, but Trump falls in the pop culture. I just find yeah. it fascinating. What Everyone's other... going to think this was White Sox Dave's uh, graphic now because you, <laughs> they're going to see Trump on there. Like, oh, there's Dave. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I mean, it's not going to be able to get posted on Maine now because of your pick. So. See, there you go. Thanks for not growing yeah, it's the most. Channel. It's the most viral picture there is. Why can't it get posted on Maine? Wow, they don't do any politics. Oh, Since they don't? When? Okay. That's not a political pick. It's a pop culture pick. Yeah. Just because you know, the president it doesn't. It is pop culture. Yeah, it's pop culture. So yeah, no politics okay. involved. Um, Congrats on 100K, by the way, guys. That was a hey, big moment. We're very thank you, Clem. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks, Clem. Thank you, Clem. And thank you for taking Chief off the hot seat. Um, Why was I off the hot I'm on. I feel fine. I know I'm getting voted off because. Yeah, I'll, I'll just preemptively hear yeah. my vote. Yeah. <laughs> Did no, you I know. just sync the graphic because you knew you were getting voted off? Is Why is it syncing the graphic? <laughs> Why is it singing the graphic? Took his ball and went home because we can't put it on the main account. Yeah, sure you can. Lost main sure you can. Privileges. Yeah. Well, who's in charge of that? What if we just make his his fifth spot vacant? Vacant. Just, like, yeah. <laughs> just put a big number forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> so um, wait, White Sox Dave is now liberal, and Chiefs gone onto the right wing. Right <laughs> winger Chief now going on here. Jesus Christ. Everything's upside down. Chicago. Brother, I never left. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Take right. this graphic from my cold, dead hands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. To me, I'm tempted between I, I need miscellaneous, like one that's fucking awesome or one that I just personally love. I know what Chief will say. Yeah, do with what you love. Yeah, do, just do the take the tank, man. I'd run that guy over. Tank the who? The tank man. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> Fucking steamroll that That's little what it should shrimp. Be. Yeah. We know you want to. You did it, in fact. Were you driving the tank, Ed? Ed was, was Ed was driving the tank. Haven't you seen all the fucking... He was on the back like a kid I wonder what Ken waving. Jack will do with that selection. I wonder. Tiana Med Square, <laughs> they call it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm taking sports again. Well, is my miscellaneous... And I'm going to take Len Dawson having a cig at halftime of the Super Bowl. It's a good one. He's got a beer at his. Uh, he's got a beer at his feet, just ripping a cig, and um, very indicative of its time where you could do that kind of shit. And they went out and they lost. The, they didn't score in the second half, but it's still that's the part of the photo you don't need to know. But him, I a cig. have to imagine that. This was a pretty regular thing back in the like advent of football, right? Had to be, right? Yeah. 
I mean, didn't they used to say like Tony Kukoc used to like oh have a pack a day? Have you ever heard the guy speak? Of yeah. course he smoked cigarettes. And he's from Eastern Europe. I just yeah. assume all fucking Slavic people just rip heaters all day, respectfully. Um, that's my way of getting out of things that may be a little dicey that come out yeah, of my mouth. Just say, yeah, respectfully, or yeah. maybe a no disrespect if you want to or, change it. Or yeah. no offense. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is one of the reasons like I loved baseball for so long because like. Jim Lee Lynn would just fucking pound Smoke cheaters like in the that. dugout. Yeah. Uh, There's something pictures. about halftime. Famous Keith yeah. Hernandez one in the dugout, too. Didn't yep. Kevin get that painted? We had a shirt that, that, went, yeah. that was pretty good back in the day of him just ripping butts. Yeah. Halftime of the biggest game, the championship, is crazy. If that happened today, granted, like anyone smoking today, it's like I don't think you'd ever see like a picture. Of it. <gasps> I'm trying to think of – it's pretty rare, but – I could see the media being like, if he didn't smoke that cigarette at halftime and cared, like that would be a talk radio yeah. thing for like a week in the losing city of whoever lost that Super Bowl. I think that you'd probably have a better chance of finding someone hitting a joint on a sideline these days than a cigarette. Oh, probably. That's true. I That's was, true. I was scrolling true. through TikTok the other day and I had a scene from Mad Men came up and they blur out the cigarette. That's it's wild. On TikTok. What? On TikTok. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. Wow. So, That's pretty fucking wild. Yeah. So they don't have to say like tobacco use. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess. Didn't oh wait, didn't Mike McDaniel get caught vaping and he was dying? Yeah, that was part a of huge thing. thing. Yeah, oh, that was a big deal. I did not yeah, know this, but he looks also, like Travis Kelsey's like being who... crucified for buying like uh, backwoods or something. Yeah, yeah he and he's like smoking in his car leaving practice. Yeah, um, it's a great pick, part of though. the con. Part of the problems with content here is. You know, you do stuff, you do soup. We all do stupid stuff all the time in the name of content. Well, uh, I had a thing last year because we were selling Brian Dable smoking cigar shirts. So I would smoke a cigar after Giants wins and do a video. Well, my kids saw it and like, Dad, you should not be smoking. And I am now realizing like out of the a million things I never wanted them to see what I did at Barstool. I was smoking right in front of them. And I'm like, shit. And now it's just I'm like, <laughs> that's a like, cigar. We were though. told in school smoking's bad for you. I'm like. Fuck. So cigars are different than things, cigarettes. Man. They'll learn that. <laughs> they AJ Price smokes cigarettes now. I yeah, mean, what yeah, he definitely yeah, he probably does. does. AJ definitely. How old is AJ now? Five and a half. He's, he's got. I, I don't think he's smoking yet. Give it like another year. And no, a half dude. Or so. AJ's ripping reds in that bush that Clem. <laughs> yeah, that Clem hit him to be Homer Simpson. <laughs> Has AJ ever met Brandon's son Tommy? The Walker boys could be smoking. Yeah, uh, yeah. I can see that. Definitely. No, I'm asking, have they ever met each other? Oh, no. no. Uh, actually, yeah, they, uh, Stu Finer had his party, and they were there. I don't know if they actually played together at all. Um, because That they, would cause, like, a black hole in the universe. <laughs> yeah. that That's the gatekeeper and the key master. You cannot have them meet, or else everyone's going to die, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Those two are going to cause a lot of trouble together in like five, it's seven just, years. Like, not, not yeah. even kidding. Five and a half people are already penciling them in to be one of the kids from the outsiders. <laughs> that's, and people don't know Brandon moved Pop. to Chicago for his career. He moved so then uh, Tommy Walker and AJ Clem could be no could be further apart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the meeting. Uh, Robbie, you're up. So I was going through the same dilemma in my head that you were at. I'm like, I could definitely pick a more iconic photo for my miscellaneous, but I just want to go with one that I like that really makes me laugh. That would make me laugh to see on the graphic. I'm going Fabio right after a bird exploded on his face <laughs> on the roller coaster. Fuck <laughs> this yeah. picture makes me laugh every time I see it. I think it's been talked about on this show before at some point. It is just so good. <laughs> the look of like complete distraught confusion on his face as he has just a, a, an explosion of blood all over him. It's hilarious. Great pick. Like that's the kind of under that's a it it's was a, a goose. It was a goose. That, that's a big fucking bird. Those are like 25 pounds. Are they serve those at Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't shit. know it was a goose. I See, figured it was just a little robin or something. It's so funny. Any other person it would have probably decapitated him. <laughs> Yeah. He just, you know, looks like he went down on his wife during that time oh, of month or something. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's a foul boy again. No, he is. Yeah, yeah, is that not are. what it looks like? I mean, to say it makes you the foul boy. Dude, Everybody shout out to Fabio. Just what are you, is, is he still alive? Yeah, he's still question. alive. How old is he? Does he still have long hair? He's got he's it, right? 64, dude. He's still hot as fuck. Do you think he took lots of steroids? Yeah. In the 80s? No. 
I mean, I don't know how recent these pictures are, but he does not look 64. That I'll happened that. in Virginia? I didn't know what happened in America. That. For some reason, I just assumed it happened in some theme how park where, like, goose Disney was more prevalent. Yeah. How much do geese weigh? Or they got to be like 25 pounds, right? <laughs> They're big. I They're think. huge. I bet yeah. 20 pounds at least. How at much? Least. The goose died? Dude, yeah. You don't go. Oh, you absolutely. don't hit that jaw and absolutely, live. Absolutely, yeah. You're going to run into fucking Fabio on a coaster and come out. <laughs> I don't I don't believe this. It says. 7 to 14 yeah. is what I'm saying. Seeing. What? No way. That seems low, doesn't Birds, it? Birds, they, because they don't have legs, yeah. really. They got and those they, little... They have yeah, hollow bones. And their neck yeah. and the head is... An yeah. Hollow lady. bones so they can fly, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Dude, this is kind of funny. Can I read the Wikipedia about the incident? The little burb? Please. Please do. <laughs> on March... It's, it's, it's labeled on Fabio's Wikipedia. It's labeled as Goose Incident. <laughs> 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 on, on March 30th, an 1999, incident. an event occurred that became known as Lanzoni's Goose Incident. During a promotional event... Lanzoni was seated in the front row of an inaugural ride of Apollo's Chariot roller coaster at Busch Gardens, Williamsburg. He was accompanied by more than 30 women dressed as, as Greek goddesses. Once the ride ascended 73 miles per hour, Lanzoni claims a flock of hundreds of geese flew by and one of the geese was sucked into the ride. The goose died and Lanzoni descended the ride with blood on his face, possibly from a nasal injury. Uh, multiple reporters allege that Lanzoni was hit in the face by a goose. The video remains... In his film from the ride's entrance, uh, there's an on-camera rhyme, but but there's not camera. There's an on-ride camera, but uh, Lanzoni claimed that the camera was never found. Uh, he required three stitches on his nose, and uh, some sources claim the incident represented a paradigm shift in Lanzoni's career. Ooh, that's interesting. I mean, like you fuck with the model's face, you can't model as well. I feel like maybe. And then he said, he said on the morning show in 2021, he clarified, so this is recent, actually the bird hit the camera and a piece of metal of the camera flew and cut the bridge of my nose, and that was a miracle. But hey, we're afraid of me, but they were afraid of me suing Budweiser, so they blamed it on a bird. But actually the bird hit the camera, the bird never hit my face, I was very fortunate, very lucky, because I only needed one stitch. So is that huh. Bush Gardens, I'm assuming? I, well, yeah, I never knew... This is stupid, but I never knew that Bush Gardens was owned by Anheuser Busch. Yeah, did not know that either. I, I, I thought you, you would say you never knew Fabio had a last name because I didn't know that. I, I did not know. That. I didn't know. <laughs> I thought what, he was like Cher. Yeah, but like <laughs> Bush, that, Bush Gardens, like having yeah. an amusement park of an alcohol company for children. That's is, not. I knew that. I don't know why or how I knew that, but I don't think you're weird for not knowing that. No, I didn't I, know that. I don't think that's most like people would know that. That's like tortilla chips. I didn't realize were made from tortillas. And it's like, oh, it's right in the name. I just never thought of it like that. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just diced up tortillas in a fryer. fryer. It's weird to think about. Yeah. Yeah. Good pick, Robbie. White Sox, Dave. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, so it's I got to go with mystery. I'm down to three mystery, history, or miscellaneous. I combined the two. I like um, that. Mystery. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I've already made fun about Ed for Tank Man, so I'm not going to take that. Um, I'll, I'm going to go with Washington crossing the Delaware. That's a fucking painting. <laughs> That's a painting. That bro. was a test. That was a test. <laughs> um, that would be sure. That was a test. I'll go with Tank Man. <laughs> I was trying to slide it in there. I was trying to slide it in there. I knew what I was doing. I'll okay. go with Tank All Man. All right. You can, I, it's, I Tiananmen don't, Square. Tiananmen Square, yeah. Okay. Uh, I was hoping that I didn't want to draft this one because of it's not fun to speak about this. Um, but obviously it's as iconic as iconic gets the whole world saw this picture at one point or another throughout their life. Um, Ed, you can take it from here since it's your cronies Nothing that fucking committed this atrocity. Can I ask a very stupid question? One that I feel like I should know the answer to mm -hmm. they run them over. I don't know that they did either. They, well, I, they I don't, don't know, know who the did. guy was. I do know that like did, well, he's probably been thrown into a dark prison if they didn't run him mm -hmm. over. But I don't know what happened after that. Like they could have run him over. I don't know. So probably I always, I always told myself footage. he was fine. Uh, according to Wikipedia, the most reliable thing. There's no reliable information about the identity or fate of Tank Man. I also thought I, I thought I read recently he definitely died, but I guess that is unknown. Ed, what, did you run him over? Or did you hit the brakes? I will not comment. What on What would you have done? 
Not talking about this. Hypothetically speaking, <laughs> if a guy was protesting um, his lack of free speech, lack of you know being able to practice religion of his choosing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, would you run that person over? Yes or no? Go. Uh, Mr. Relevant, Clum. <laughs> <laughs> Man, there's a lot. Having all these options as miscellaneous for the last one is dangerous. I don't know which way I'm going to go here. There's a few sports ones I'd like to go with. The Fabio one is just completely throwing for a loop. That was such a great one. I thought when Ed was talking about Lazio's lawsuit, I thought he was talking about the owner of the amusement park. I didn't realize that was yeah. Fabio's last name. Uh, <laughs> just because I thought Robbie was, I thought Robbie was taking it. And it's more, it's, it's a little bit of both. It's one of those pictures that always makes you smile, but it's also a legitimate history picture. And it's Einstein sticking his tongue out. It mm -hmm. just always makes yeah. me laugh. I don't know. Usually that was such on a my serious list. dude. Yeah. Um, loved him in uh, Oppenheimer. Didn't know he was still alive and was able to play himself, but just incredible stuff nonetheless. Uh, so uh, Einstein tongue, it's like a legit picture, uh, but still kind of funny. Mr. Irrelevant, I think it could have gone top five. Yeah, it's a really yeah. good pick. It was in my yeah. history, like top mm -hmm. five for sure. Um, on every word. college dorm, obviously, like everyone yeah. has seen that picture everywhere. And Einstein just being a wild boy, him just showing he's not just a nerd, he's a wild boy. 71st birthday, that's when he took it, I, I learned. Huh. Nice. It's one of those things, too, where there's probably so many people that have just known that picture, and that's like mo maybe mostly all they know about Einstein. Yeah. Right before that picture, he said, leave the stopwatch at home. <laughs> that's all that's who do you out. think would yeah, win in a fight nice. to the death between einstein and warner von braun and who warner von braun is he one of the warner brothers no warner. he was a he's a nazi who he was the rocket scientist Na that basically was like, founded nasa yeah Ooh, they did he, a little thing like that in the new indiana jones you've seen october sky like all correct the, all the uh nazis came over and started working for us on our space program operation paperclip that's the new Indiana Jones kind of based around that. It's good. Yeah. All right. We could do some miscellaneous. We could do some uh, honorable mentions and we could uh, vote and get out of here. Uh, Chief, anything? Yeah. I had the Jordan um, final shot. Um, Brandy Chastain. Yeah. Um, the Miracle on Ice where they're all celebrating. Those are my sports ones. Uh, they call it Earth Rise. It was the first ever picture. It was from Apollo 8. First ever like clear resolution picture of the earth from space um you've seen it like you've seen it uh the guy whispering to bush in the classroom 9 11 uh that's a very good one yeah uh, and then the only other like i Brittany. was really struggling with pop culture i had like the paparazzi pick of britney with her head shaved <laughs> that was like the only the other umbrella one I, like hitting the car i don't remember or that just the first one of with her head shaved just her just her head shaved i think that would have been gotcha. a good pick yeah, I, I know you would. Yeah, well, yeah. Trump instead. I'm yeah. not, you mentioned that on the text last I'm night. Not, You're like, think of it like the Britney thing. And I thought you were going to use that as the example at the beginning. I'm shocked you didn't draft it. That's really freaky because, no joke, that's the example I used to those two Really? Guys. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I had three pop culture. It was OJ, Marilyn Monroe, and that. Yeah. And the one Trump. where she's looking extra maniacal, Chief. Right? Yeah, where like she's a like, crazy her person. Eyes are bulging out of her head. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was like 2007 because I think that was like. I was trying to give you a hint with one. You, what, you what was this? Johnny Cash. That yeah. picture. Where he's but like, like I, I, finger, yeah. I yeah. can. I've thought of all those mug shots. So I just feel that like wasn't they, a mug shot. That was him on stage. Oh, I don't know that one. The one of him so. giving a finger. Yeah. yeah, it's like a famous shirt now. Yeah. And it, it's tough because all Trump's like iconic moments are like videos or him saying something stupid or funny, you know, like that's what's, but that's I, what kind of makes I, it tough too. He's got so many, like but it's like the most the viral picture. picture I think in the history of Twitter is that, well, Twitter wasn't around for most of our shit. Sure. That, but that fucking still, moron at the Capitol, that was kind of a picture. I guess that's not Trump technically, but that was like a the, Trump. The adjacent. shaman guy. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah that's, that's true. Um, uh, Dave. I think we've covered pretty much everything. Robbie? I had a couple pop culture ones. Farrah Fawcett in the red bathing suit. Classic poster from yeah. before my time, but one of the most iconic uh, posters ever. Um, a silly one. John Lennon doing the silly walk. You guys know that one? 
Hmm. I don't, I don't think, think so. Yeah. Why don't you look up John Lennon doing a silly walk? Just a hysterical photo. Coley always used to tweet it. Shout out to my former honkers brother in there. Um, the Uma Thurman picture on the Pulp Fiction poster. Yeah. Where she's on the bed with her feet kicked up smoking a cigarette. Um, the Monk on Fire for history that they used yeah. for the Rage Against the Machine cover. Yeah. And then I had a bunch of Barstool ones. Barstool was the easiest for me to come up with things. Um, the Trent mug shot. I love. Oh, that's a great. Trent one. is the most friendly, nice, take the shirt off his back for you guy. And in that picture, he looks like he's like part of the making a murder family. <laughs> like if I saw that, I'd be like, this guy ate the body somewhere. I I um, had it too, but I I didn't want Trent to. I don't think he would have been very happy with it being. No, and Dave's mugshot is another one that's great. It's classic, yeah. like the whole Brady Four being walked out even with their heads down. Yeah, that one's iconic. The King Richard's fair thumbnail kind of just the three of them yep. standing yep. there in their renaissance gear i thought it was classic um the nate flying 69 with asa as he's like <laughs> high-fiving kfc yeah and then my final one was kfc with his friends in high school <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's yeah. a good one yeah, yeah. One. yeah. that, that one's is really funny very funny um clum uh sports the lebron and Dwayne wade like ali oop it was like i don't I yeah. don't know if it was even a alley. It, it was something it was like, like the Duncan full or court alley oop, alley oop. Where or no, Dwayne's like he's this. behind him. Yeah, yeah. Hands he out. like yeah, throwing Wayne, it over then, his head. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Iverson stepping over Tyron Lue. Yeah. Uh, hel- helmet that. catch with the Giants. Usain Bolt, where he's looking at the dude as he passes. That would have been great, an awesome. That's one. That's a great one. That would have been an awesome smiling. pick. Yep. Uh, Hogan and Andre the Giant. Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, yep. like, staring at each other down. Why Tittle all bloodied up, uh, the Willie Mays catch, and then Altuve and Judge next to each other. That was like, <laughs> that was, like, that was yeah. all you saw on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, pop culture, Biggie with the crown. I just always love that picture. Uh, Jimi Hendrix. I feel like there's one where I'm smoking. I don't know. Or maybe playing Woodstock. I think either of those go. He and, always uh, had a cigarette in his mouth. This one being on the graph would have made me feel weird. The Nirvana Nevermind album. Just yeah. Like yeah. Baby penis. And no, you don't ever Isn't that, that kid trying there. to... Sue the he, he shit did, out of he them did right sue now. them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah a bunch of did, times. Yeah. And then Barstool, uh, Dave tackling the lingerie football player. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> one. Uh, which is, a, uh, he says he didn't even mean to do that. He didn't even know he was doing it. I, I, again, I listened to that interview. Uh, him doing the prep face, the original prep face that he did for like a blog. That was kind of like his, that was, that lived on the blog for a while. Uh, three different White Sox Dave ones. The uh, infamous eating the burger. The White Sox yeah. Dave beard that starts at his eyeballs. And then, like, the gum picture where you just know what's going on. It's more the video than the picture. And then My Guy Chief with Ozzy Keen. The, that that <laughs> oh, was one that, that had to be talked about. Yeah. I, love yeah, that I thought picture. Chief was going to recreate the VJ Day kiss with Ozzy Keen in that picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, KFC sad face after uh, Connor Gillespie ripped our guts out in the <laughs> first electric chair. Yeah. I wonder what Connor Gillespie's doing right now. He's probably Working like selling insurance, insurance. yeah. 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 Uh, Is he I mean, not in the MLB can anymore I, even? Can, Fuck no. Are you guys interested in the uh, 2024 White Sox Dave calendar? This is 12, not 12 months happening. of White Sox Dave. We're going to release all, yeah. all his best pictures. I'd hang that up in an instant. Yeah. Okay. Where can I do the pre-sale? Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> crowd, we got to crowdfund it. QSAC is going to be on that. There's, there's like, there's so many Dave pictures you gotta crowdsource it yeah that's perfect for black friday too because then uh, you get the calendar rolling into the next year it's i know perfect yeah it's too bad we're never ever gonna do that so <laughs> uh i just got a couple here ozzy bites the bat oh, okay, no, oh no, yeah no. is that a picture oh, yeah it's a video and a picture but the still shot of him with a bat his head in his mouth is pretty crazy oh yeah um it's been memed to death, but Jack White at Wrigley is awesome. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that <laughs> that's is a good, good one. one. He's, just, he's just so fucking miserable. Yeah. And then There's the one, one I, of Billy Corgan on a roller coaster at Disney looking the same way. <laughs> really? I've seen yeah. that one too, yeah. That's great. And then the last one is the one I debated picking in the last spot. And it's not even, It's also been memed to death, but I love the picture of Ben Affleck smoking. Like yeah, just in so like. good. He looks fat too. He's it's just like over a Dave it. picture, yeah. No, but he's just like he he has an emotion that he, everyone feels. Like it, it, yeah. like just the look on his face, just like leave me the fuck alone, fuck everyone. Yeah, it's, it's a great picture. 
That's an all timer. <laughs> I like cousin all of, of the recent, Keanu like, Reeves picture. So I, yeah. I, I feel that. Yep. I love all the recent Ben Affleck uh, J Lo pictures where she'll be like all like dolled up for like a gala or whatever, and he's like next to her in the same shit he's been wearing for weeks, and it's he's just like smoking cigs. He's got his Duncan. Yeah. Um, one sports one I just thought of. Would you count the the fuck face card? It's an image, right? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah, I had that baseball. I had the blown up version of it. I had to give it away because my kids can read now. So I had it. It was a 24 by 36 poster. I had it here for like five years. And then once I realized my kids are going to get old enough to read, I was like, I, I gave it to KFC Radio. I'm, I'm sure they just threw it out. It's that's, like, yeah, we don't need this either. That's funny. I <laughs> it's mean, a great I, call, Bob. Smoking cigs and fuck face photos. JJ Klum, he's on his, he's on his way. <laughs> um, we got it. Speaking of that, you sang the... The, the movie poster to Pulp Fiction and seeing Die Hard behind you, we got to do a uh, a movie movie poster movie draft. poster draft because there's so many. Oh, we haven't done that. We've done that. Never covers. done that. I feel like no. we should just have these two guys back on. Oh, 100. Yeah. percent let's, let's run it back soon yeah, or whenever, um, and we'll do that one. Um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna run these down and then we can vote for who's voted off. Uh, Chief Sailor Kissing Girl, Neil Armstrong on the Moon, Bobby or Airborne. Big Cat and Dave after Wisconsin lost, Trump mugshot, Eddie Men eating lunch on Skyscraper, O.J. Simpson chase, Wilt 100, Dave buying candy, Len Dawson smoking a cig at halftime, uh, Robbie, Ali standing over Liston, Hindenburg explosion, Beatles walking across Abbey Road, Dave's dead feet, dead fish feet at the Super Bowl, uh, Fabio bloodied by Bird, uh, White Sox Dave raising the flag in Iwo Jima, Marilyn Monroe skirt, MJ with the title, um, Zahn Smitty, Tiananmen Square, Clem 9-11 raising the flag, MJ from the free throw line, Tupac and Suge, K.O. Barstool, and Einstein sticking tongue out. Um, I can't believe that Jordan Utah never got drafted yeah. by any of us. Yeah, it but was I, mentioned like a hundred times. It did, and it's a good picture, but the I clip love that the picture. clip is the sh- to hear it all, to hear to hear the announcement, the clip is pretty awesome. And then to see, I just love looking at the faces of all the fans. Yeah. And they're just like, because I was that fan as a Nick fan so many times, and it's just like, yep, your guts are gone. He's going to do it again. All right, Clem, who you got? Is anyone not voting chief? Let's start it off. Too. Is yeah. anyone not voting chief? No. I mean, I think Ed should get I'm some sorry. consideration. I put, I put sorry with a sad face, like Survivor. <laughs> that does make me feel better. Um, yeah, whatever. Trump's like trying to get off the. He's trying to get off the. Uh, off the what? He, he's trying to get off the hook here. Hey, you know, why? Why? Who's your vote, Clum? If, if anything, I think I just put myself on the chopping block by saying Chief is, is the pick. What, which I, I, don't, I, I don't follow. What's oh. the... Well, he, he, I said, is anyone not voting yeah, what, Chief? What, what, what I think you, we're all you, saying Chief because Chief, I think, is putting himself on the graph. Off the graph. Yeah. All right. Any last words, Chief, before we wrap up? Um, well, he's got to get his vote. This is still a democracy. Well, he's going to vote for Chief's me. Chief's last words are, I did everything right, and they indicted me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just always yeah. have the shame. Look, I, 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 yeah, you can vote for me. <laughs> All right. It wasn't my best effort today. All right. You guys are the best. Thank you, guys. Thanks, boys. Um, you guys for the movie draft and then the movie posters draft and the statue draft. Got yeah. plenty, plenty of work coming up. And if there's a food one we haven't done yet, let us know because Clem, we haven't feel like we the last one was the fast food. Um, we do. All Could right, we guys. do fun size candy because I feel like that is different. We did Halloween candy. It was the first draft Clem ever did. Oh really? Yeah. All right. And okay. it was like, oh, this is different because this is better when it's small. Yeah, I remember the whole yeah. debate. Well, how do you like? Yeah. We've done so many of these <laughs> fucking <laughs> things. Man. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Robbie. Have a good one, guys. Take care, fellas. Guys. Seeing you. Hibachi soon. I'll yeah. watch you soon. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Back tomorrow with uh, maybe the Hindenburg. Maybe I don't Possibly. know if there's a. I don't know if there's thirty minutes on the Hindenburg. Well, we'll, we'll try. We'll yeah. figure it out. Yeah. Tune in tomorrow. See you then.